Hi, this is Becky Ivins with Movers Real Estate, and today we're talking about house hunting. What's the most important things to consider when you're hunting for your new home? Well, most areas of the country, but particularly here in our metro, schools rule. School systems determine values of property, desirability of location, uh, as to where people want to buy. And I find that a little bit fascinating because we live so long now that really kids are in our house uh, going to school less than 20% of our, of our lives, of our adult lives. So uh, it seems it shouldn't have that much bearing on where you purchase, but it certainly has a bearing on your resale value of your home. So you definitely want to consider the school system. You want to consider the neighborhood. Do you know, in all the years that I have sold real estate, I have never had anybody ask me to find them a home in a bad neighborhood. But almost every time they say, well, we want a good neighborhood, I'm going, well, what does a good neighborhood look like to you? Uh, is it a neighborhood that has great big trees? Is it a neighborhood that has guttered streets? Is it a neighborhood that has cul-de-sacs? Is it a neighborhood where there are not too many sex offenders living? Uh, is it a neighborhood that only floods about every three years? I mean, what is a good neighborhood? That's in the eyes of the beholder. So the things that are important to most folks are low crime statistics. You can find crime statistics online. There's lots of news trackers that the different local uh, TV channels have. One thing I caution about that though is first check out where you live and see what your crime statistics are. Look within a quarter of a mile, look within a half a mile of where you live yourself or maybe where your parents live. Uh, someone that you think lives in a great area and see, well, what is it I'm looking for? And then uh, have a different look back time. Like you can look back for a year, you can look back for six months, make it consistent across the board. If there is an apartment complex within that half mile, radius of where you're looking in a neighborhood great neighborhood doesn't the house doesn't back up to an apartment complex but it's just in proximity say across the turnpike from an apartment complex there's a concentration of people in an apartment complex that are not in a neighborhood so you're going to have a higher crime statistic maybe not per capita but just for a geographic area so it's important to kind of look at that and see well, what kind of crimes are there were there a bunch of kids that went by and started knocking over mailboxes and there was 15 of those one night and so it looks like it's a high crime area or is it an area where the crime statistics are pretty broad, broad spread and serious violent crimes are occurring. So you can only be the judge of that. Uh, there are also uh, statistics you can look up, flood maps. Uh, a good professional agent can show you how to look up all these different things. So that's going to be very important. Another thing that's really important is the age of the house or the age of the com major components of the house. Uh, we live in an area of very extreme weather conditions. So roofs are important. Uh, get a professional to look at the roof of any house that you're gonna purchase and always start with your insurance agent before you ever do any inspections on a home. But when you're looking for a home, look at that disclosure, see if there's been any flooding, see if there's been any termite treatment, termite damage. There's uh, maybe, I mean, goodness, someone could have uh, cooked meth in the house previously. Maybe it was cleaned up, that might matter to you. So look at the property condition disclosure and look at the things that are most important to you. Thanks for tuning in to my video blog. We'll have more next week. This is Becky Ivins. If you have a question for me, do give me a call at 722-3232. I'll answer your question on a video blog. But more importantly, if you need professional real estate advice, send me an email or give me a call. It's BeckyIvins.com is the website, 722-3232, or Becky at BeckyIvins.com.